Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Sagittarius. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Tarot and Oracle card general forecast for the week of February the 1st to the 7th, 2021. Again, I truly want to thank you for your support, for your likes, your shares, and for subscribing and clicking that bell. All the thumbs up and the beautiful comments you leave behind. Please know that it is imperative if you like to follow any of your favorite creators that you do subscribe and you do click the bell button and make it ring. Because that little algorithm and that little robot in the back office, as I've been telling you lately, we're all going out supporting our channel now they will clean house and that you will lose you so you could be a consistent watcher but and a viewer but if you're not clicking that subscribe button the back office doesn't know that so we don't want to lose any of you it's our incentive to to be able to promote ourselves and put out these videos every week to improve and increase our sub numbers okay as I said, this is a general reading. If you want a private reading with me, all that information is posted below this video. Just give it a click, prices, email, my, my website, how to submit a payment. If you can't do that, send me an email and I'll walk you through it. I am booking up into the latter part of next week. I might have a couple available in the middle of the week uh, for uh, the for a reading. So please get a hold of me because then it'll be the following week. I've been very, very busy. All right, let's see what we have here for our reading, my beautiful Sagittarians. Your all over energy is a beautiful three of pentacles. Now, the three of pentacles talks about staying focused, about, uh, you know, and doing what it is that you do. Also, it's about promoting yourself, okay? You're stepping up, you're promoting your craft, you're working on it. And also, it's about, uh, you know, getting paid well and rewarded well for what you're doing. You also work well with others. So I think you may be collaborating. You're a good team player. You might be working with other people or bringing people on board with you as a team to be surrounded with and have the same collaborate your ideas and have the same ideas and job uh, and interest. So, you know, you're going to get recognized for your high quality work here. This is a beautiful card that says keep doing what you're doing. Some of you could be getting a raise, you could be getting a promotion, something like that. But you are a great communicator. Continue being creative with that, doing what it is that you do well, staying focused and doing that, getting down to work because you're going to see success coming in. Now you've got for your first energy card here, you've got waking, wakening the lion. And this is an interesting card card because it says whatever your choices are right now you'll you won't fail as long as you act with courage and integrity so this is about stepping up stepping up into your power and perhaps this is what it has to do with honing in your craft your talents your job your career your resume taking you know making sure you're perfecting yourself maybe you're taking a new form of study a new course to get a higher education here or something to add to your resume. Don't give up, okay? This is about being bold and courageous and moving forward even without knowing the way, okay? So it's facing that which is difficult or painful and knowing that you can go forward regardless of the outer conditions right now. Let go of that fear. Whatever you you know, make your choices here wisely, but move forward with the tenacity and bravery of this lion. Now, this is this is interesting because below that you have you have this beautiful elephant and the elephant is all about well we all know that an elephant never forgets and that's because the elephant can see and remembers things. He listens. Okay, he never forgets things. He listens, he watches body language, <coughs> he sees how he's been treated and so on. This particular set thing says you need to listen, but listen with an open heart for the message okay it's time to speak there is a time to speak and then there's a time to be silent right now and now they're saying it's that this is the time to listen pay attention not only to what is being spoken but also to what is not being said okay at the moment for the deeper message listen with your heart not with your ears and you'll find clarity receiving the listening card is a fortunate sign and ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances so 
right now whatever challenges you could be dealing with this week the message here is again don't go in with the roar of a lion okay go in there and you know tiptoe around the issue but make sure your your, your ears are wide open sit silently in the back watching and listening to what's going on listen to the other side of the story here think of it of listening to them with compassion and putting it through a love filter okay put your put whatever is challenging you through a love filter and believe me you'll look at it in a different way don't react and then regret this week now you have the fork in the road okay the fork in the road is all about making a decision considering the consequences as you prepare to make that decision though okay it could be owning up to your own obligations okay so every choice is a consequence you've arrived at the fork in the road and you're being asked to come to a decision you've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship maybe with somebody which you will cho- what, what will you choose to open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated and go deeper and commit to mutual passion or walk away this is a time to take responsibility for your truest desires and follow it okay this could have to do with this this is amazing so this is all about you stepping up you're at us at a point right now at a crossroads where you're having to make a, a a very big profound decision about something look at it in you know in a in a in a kinder more compassionate understanding manner now let's see what we have here for our crowning energy with our tarot you have the hermit and there's a few cards here that are repeating themselves that were in <clears throat> other people's messages too but i always take it when i ask spirit to give me the cards they throw them out at me and those are the cards I take. Um, you know, it's very profound right now that maybe a lot of people are out there going within to find the answers. And the hermit does that. The hermit goes on his own or her own journey to find the answers that they're seeking. And you could be pulling back. We can't get those answers if we don't do this. If we're out in the chaos and the noise of the everyday world and all those distractions that, you know, confuse us and, and really clutter our mind. So the hermit goes on the journey and the journey to find out what he wants or she wants and I do think you're going to be doing that now the hermit also refers to pulling away and stepping back from a relationship it could be a friendship it could be a family member it could be a love relationship and it's not to say it's permanent what it implies is that you need time to think about something here and listening okay remember you're at a fork here in the road and you might be making a decision that is that is generated and determined around another energy another person but you have the ability when you come out of this to light the path for other people as well. People might be looking up to you as a mentor here. Maybe you're doing something here. Maybe you're going through to be a life coach. Maybe you're doing that or a healer or an energy healer or somebody who or maybe what I do going out there to be of service to help people find clarity. You will have this ability to do that. Now you've got a beautiful card here the seven of pentacles you've got the seven of pentacles the two of cups and the seven of cups so i think you're going to be working on something here waiting for something to come in and you're going to have to make this decision and choice about something so the seven of pentacles talks about planting your seeds well okay you've done your work you've done your homework this shows me here right off the bat with your with your all over energy here with the three of pentacles you could have put out a resume a proposition an offer an idea of some sort and you're waiting to hear how they received it and how they're going to respond to it don't be I mean just be patient right now things aren't moving fast this card says you did everything right it's unnecessary worry you will hear and it will be in your favor the two of cups beautiful card uh, two energies being drawn towards each other for mutual uh, for mutual cause it could be love attention affection this is a beautiful card of partnership so it could be partnership in a loving relationship a romantic relationship coming towards you the drawing of that uh, that energy to each other or it could be uh, the you know in love with a situation or the marriage of minds or the marriage of an individual so this is a beautiful card a positive energy coming in as well in the form of a person a relationship being drawn partnerships okay getting together this bonding you will be a little bit confused I think this week because you're going to be conflicted and confused about some decisions that you have to make and it's almost like well do I do this do I do that do I go there do I do you know whatever but <clears throat> you'll see the clarity come in if you take your time and think about what it is that you truly truly want okay what is it you truly want and you will be able to make that decision so this is a card of making decisions uh, important ones this week 
Now you've got in your center position, a beautiful judgment card. You've made a judgment call. Okay, you've taken a fair assessment of what was going on in your life, the energy around you, and now you decided, ah, wow, I got a brand new start. I got a rebirth. I can go in this direction. I am liberated. You will be feeling absolutely fantastic. I think, you know, you've made this call. You're moving forward in a brand new direction. And this is like rebirth. Fabulous. It's like you're thanking, you know, you're looking up at the, at, at the divine and saying, thank you. Now, the Five of Cups is the card, you know, we call it the crying over spilt milk card. But I want you to look at the prize, okay? Look at the outcome. Don't look at the past. Let the past go. Whatever happened in the past, the loss, the disappointment, whatever it was, let it go. Because right now, this card says, keep your eyes open for the prize. Look ahead. Know that there's more prosperity coming in. You've always, you've heard us say, there's more fish in the sea. Well, there's more cups here, believe me, coming for you, towards you to be filled. And it could have had to do for some of you with a relationship of some sort. Now, you've got two pages here, okay, together. This particular page comes in. He's exuberant. He's exciting. He comes charging in without a care in the world. And he could be your knight in shining armor here with the two of cups coming towards you. But beware because he's very quick when he comes in. Okay. He could charge out at any time just as quick. But the feeling that you're going to get if it is your knight in shining armor coming in is beautiful. Okay, you feel elated, you feel excited, you feel liberated. But this is also keeping your eyes open to ideas. This page comes in with opportunities, with doors opening, with new ideas, fresh new beginnings coming into you. So keep your eyes open for that because that again is going to make you feel this liberation. Stay motivated, stay focused, stay open. Now below that page, you've got the page of pentacles. Now, this particular page comes in with a message about finances. He comes in or she comes in with a message, a good message about money. Again, it's keeping your options open. Money doesn't always land in your lap, but it could be a door opening here with this other page saying, hey, I've got this opportunity coming in or this job's coming in or there's a, 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 a promotion being posted. Whatever it is, you need to still keep your options open and go towards it. Don't wait. Okay, go forward and go after it. Your final card here is the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups is often, uh, you know, um, described as somebody coming in from your past, somebody in the distance, maybe you haven't seen in a long time. Who knows the reason, but they will be, you will be connecting with someone. And they could be coming in with their hand in love and romance or affection or attention or respect or gratitude. This person will seem very loyal to you. Um, I think you're going to be very comfortable with them. Maybe you, there's been reasons why the connection hasn't been made up to now. But know that I feel this person is trustworthy. This person is going to bring out the best in you. You haven't maybe had a good laugh in a while, Sagittarius. And this, I just see this person being able to tickle your fancy and make you giggle and laugh and feel happy again. Some of you may be bringing out that inner child in yourself with this other individual. But I also look at this as a, as a gift, okay? This could also be you dealing and uh, entertaining uh, around children. Maybe there's a child coming into the family. Okay, there is a rebirth card here with the judgment card, but I do think that, you know, um, there could be a child that you're going to be entertaining or maybe coming into the, into the equation and maybe this person that comes in make, makes you feel that they're so much fun. They are childlike. Beautiful. Now, let's see what we have here for clarification with our crowning energy with the hermit. You've got temperance. So this is very, very appropriate to be landing on the hermit. Uh, it speaks of taking your time. It speaks of doing things in moderation. It speaks of not rushing into anything. And that's what the hermit does, goes within. So whatever you're dealing with, I think you're going to be taking your time, taking s baby steps towards whatever it is that you want, uh, not rushing in, reading between the lines and, you know, doing all the character analysis that you need if it is a relationship. Now, <clears throat> with your beautiful Seven of Pentacles, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So again, whatever you put out there, whatever you were working on, know that it's going to be successful. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in and giving you clarification that you're going to get what it is you went after uh, or you're going to be very happy. So it's this is good karma, good energy, good luck coming into you, moving forward. Uh, this is, you know, reward for hard work and effort. Beautiful. 
the two of cups somebody coming in towards you for partnership for romance perhaps you have the five of cups so you had the, it, this is twice St I, I want you to stop worrying about that this isn't going to work out maybe you're thinking about the past well you know how will this work don't drag your past into the to the present or the future right now I think you're going to be able to you know you're definitely going to be able to look at the prize look at the situation coming in towards you now now you shouldn't have to worry about feeling bad anymore making some major decisions here and choices here with the seven of cups what do you have you have the ten of swords so the worst is over you may be faced with making a life-changing decision or a choice here and at, you weren't able to do it in the past you felt tied down locked down you couldn't get up stabbed in the back whatever this is over when the ten of sword shows up it means it's done so now you're going to be open and free to make the choices and the decisions that you want to make to benefit you the judgment call moving on new birth rebirth new direction you get the knight of the knight of swords now this is very good to have landed on the judgment card okay this ha it could have been a legal action here as well judgment has been made okay and you're moving on in a new direction you saw the light this knight of pentacles moves slowly okay um Oh, I thought he was the sword. He's a knight of pentacles. He moves very slowly. And he, he takes, and, and again, with the judgment card, I said you've taken a fair and, uh, you know, um, and thorough assessment of what was going on in your past. And you've come to the realization, now you can go forward. And that's what this page, this knight of pentacles does. He does not go charging in. He takes his time. He makes a detailed plan. And he goes in for what he wants. And he succeeds at it. Because he didn't go charging in with his head up in the sky saying, oh, well, I'm a knight. I'm going to win. Okay. So you will see success here with this. Take your time. Because you did get the temperance card as well. And again, the five of cups. You know, let the past go. And you've got the ten of wands. Now, the ten of wands right beside the ten of swords says you pushed yourself. This is like pushing dead weight uphill. This situation is over too. Okay, you no longer have to take on this extra burden, this extra load anymore. You've lightened it. You've let go of something to move forward, and 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 I think you're moving forward in a new direction. You've got rid of something that was holding you back, like you felt like you were pushing dead weight uphill. All this work you took on yourself. Okay, you might have had to do the work of someone else, whether it was in a relationship, whatever it was in. Okay, I see now that that's over. You don't have to worry about this anymore. You're moving on, my friend beautiful page of wands activity excitement the world yes the world is your oyster perfect look how elated she is how excited she is to go towards some new goal a new passion being liberated and happy again then the world lands on it and it says you pretty much have the world in your pocket you can go where you want to go you can travel where you want to go you can go the distance now this is beautiful your good news about money with your page of pentacles you've got the emperor so this freedom maybe you're getting this money maybe you're getting this uh it could be uh, an opportunity for a promotion to be head of a department be your own boss uh be in charge of a team whatever the case is here the the, the emperor he is a leader he takes he, he steps up he he's, he just he's a leader that period and i see that you're going to be maybe asked to do that as well so step up into your power you could be going independent now going out on your own own. maybe this financial good news about money is allowing you now to be free and go on your own and be your own boss be your own leader the six of cups what do we got with our six of cups we have the two of wands again going the distance watching for your ship to come in staying focused thinking you know getting rewarded for hard work and effort so these are great cards this week uh sagittarius you are moving forward in a positive direction and you're going to see happiness and harmony harmony coming in wow beautiful so just don't go rushing into anything too quickly the worst is over i think you've cleared house here got rid of something that didn't serve you and you're working hard working hard towards your profession here so keep your ears open listen really well okay um and you will have some decisions here to make but stay brave stay courageous keep going towards this goal and endeavor well my beautiful Sagittarius this is your reading for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward and never forget 
The universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. This bright light that you're seeing over my desk is the sun decided to come out and bless me today, but it's totally illuminated <laughs> and blurred out my desk. So I apologize for that. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and I'll see you soon.